of top class handball. Away we go then here in Odense Yiska Bank Arena. Federica evenly distribute the resin on the ball. Sporting wearing the white immediately on the attack. Federica won't want to fall too far behind. That's a, but they are back, and much of that owes to the fine work of Goodman de, Goodmanson. And the Costa Brab. Score fine. Passive play, a prospect now for Sporting, unless they get a move on. Natal Suarez, there's the low shot, and it's fired her. Huh? it from Federico, they're just lacking a bit of pace, though, in the build-up. They do get on the board, courtesy of Renier Tabuada. Natal Suarez, finding Martin Costa. Tried to release his brother, but then lost the ball. But Federica have also thrown it away. That's very sloppy indeed. The man over here instead, Martin Say. But anything, toss four and a half minutes played, and already Federica have lost the ball on three occasions. They can't afford to be that careless, nor can they afford to allow Nathan Suarez just to wander in under attended like that. Again, they're looking to Tabuada. And that turned the ball over. Passive play is a possibility here. That's a nice step, but the whistle had gone by then. And as Martinusen Dent. Martin Costa nearly lost it there. The Federicio bench wanted. Then we go on because Torsten Fries has made the save. But again, Federicio have thrown away the ball. This is far too sloppy. But Torsten Fries, Bockelson. Ready to go here, and he scores. Could win not only the league, but the cup as well. So, each time for the first time in six years. He's clearly, still riding the momentum of that. Confidence is high, and it should be as well. Amongst uh, Tabea. But Sporting score again. Salvador have uh, a couple of weeks off before Federici will go to the French capital to take on Paris Saint-Germain. Taboada with the hang time and the goal. He's got two of Federici's threes, hasn't been provided with too much defence in front of him. He sensed he had to shoot, but it's That's better from Federici. They made the save. Now they need to back it up with a goal of their own. Taboada! Good save. Felisa. A dozen minutes gone, it goes wide to the right wing. There's Torsten Fries, but he couldn't keep out the second effort. Sporting now up to eight. The lead is back to five. Henneberg. He was the one with so many goals last week. That's a good bit of hand. Wide it goes to the left wing, and it results in another goal for Sporting. Put away by Oddi Thorkelson. Federici are trying to move it quickly. Again, it's a turnover. A free, empty goal and a simple finish. How simple was that for Pedro Martinez? Martinusen. Henneberg. Trying to spray the passes. That's better. Good finish as well. Nicely done by Martin Piscard. Big figure at the line. Barging through his opponent, Martinusen, Henneberg, good save. Sporting will need their goalkeeper as well, they can't afford to Martin. Wearing eight is uh, Jan Gurri on for his compatriot. Gurri driving through, couldn't find Martin Costa, who still gets the shot away and gets the goal as well. Martin Costa scores. Martinusen. They've moved it well, round the angles. It's a fabulous bit of goalkeeping again from Christensen. And another empty. 12-4 now in favour of Sporting, but much of this goal owed to the... Again, Frederica have to take chances here. The seven on six works out well. Christensen in a hurry to launch it long. 
Here's Martin Costa. Again, they drive in from the wing. Good save from Torsten Fries. So what can Redericia do here? Again, much of their joy has come from that far side, the left wing. Again, they've thrown the ball away. And this is just far too sloppy. You can't afford to make basic handling errors like this at Champions League. have to try and finish in the top six if they are to make it through to the playoff rounds. Top two go through directly. Good save again from Christensen. And this time it's wide though. They're working the extra man, but they haven't. And again, they've lost it. And the goal is open. And this is becoming a little bit embarrassing at times. This time, Mamadou Gassama could hardly miss. He was much closer to the goal. Someone needs to step in and take charge and fire away a shot. It's come off the crossbar, even when he beat the goalkeeper. Denied by the frame of the goal. Unlucky there. Huge golfing class so far. An open shot again, deposited by Salvador. Salvador, he's got another one. Someone needs to shoot, but they're reluctant to take the shot on, conscious that they could lose it. Another fairly comfortable save for Andre Christensen. A couple of players are down stricken, but that's a moment of good fortune. Again, sporting, working the angles very nicely. Gassama. <laughs> Giving it away again. Lots of options here. Gassama couldn't make it too. In the space of 30 seconds or so, no two minute suspensions, they've only given away one penalty. Part some atmosphere here, it's understandably gone very quiet, they've been outplayed. Another simple save for Andre Christensen. Of Salvador, here he is again stepping in. Salvador, Salvador, another free shot, and buried by Falcon. Hand in his wrist to turn it into the corner. Keeper bought the dummy. That's better, and they've scored. Someone getting to the line and swiveling it. So that's about. Guri stepping in. Round the back it went. They've lost the ball. They've lost the ball. Once more, sporting drive forward. Second half comeback, but they need to go on a scoring run now without reply. Again, it's far too easy. Off both posts, really unlucky there. Lovely, clever, flighted, lofted shot, but clever, flighted, lofted shot, but not precise enough. Federicia have thrown it away again behind. They are now back to within 10, but not. not Doesn't reach Gassama. Federicia sense the opportunity here. Great piece of handling, brilliant finish. And well done to the Danish runners up. He scored three on the wing signs of life. At the break here, Giska back a scoring run at the back end of the first half. All three goals scored by Lata Balstadt. So that's why they're back within nine. Still a huge cushion. It's been far too easy for the team from the Portuguese capital. First possession for Federicia. He's had shots basically straight at him. Sporting trying to find the mark with their first play of this second half. It's a good save back amongst us. He had a lengthy breather back into the first half along with his brother Martin. So far, three shots, three saves. Had a look at the shot percentage for the, the empty goal situation when Federicia had taken chances with the 76 and hadn't made the most of it. Bounce through towards the line. He hooked Yell. The sip. Kiko Costa with the sidestep and the assist. There's the goal. First of this second half, and it goes the way of Sporting. Too often he's been a little bit hesitant, has uh, Kiel Giard wearing 15. That high share, and Andre Christensen showing his worth between the sticks for Sporting. To try and move it quickly. Kiko Costa buries it. It's marked from. Last week when he got six, his brother got ten. It's another set and a bit minutes, almost four minutes. And fed the first. Much thanks to the sporting goalkeeper. Kielka keeps it moving. They do score this time. And that's a timely goal for Federicia just to give them a bit of a lift. It's now sporting needs to hurry. 
They do hurry. Salvador saved by Fries. Valstad keeps it moving. Fast break here for Fredericia. Well taken. And it all stems from the goalkeeper. It's Einar Olafsson with the goal. Assisted by the supporting cast. There are many to make the most of Sporting being out of position. Instead, it's Fredericia out of in favour of the Sporting. Another save for incidentally with the goal for Sporting. We're pressing ahead in search of another. Salvador saved by Fries. Last time out. Previously had a spell with the Norwegian champions Elverum. There he is again, Lasse Balstad. Continuing his fine work there at the line. Left back stepping in, unleashing one. The rebound favours Sporting and it's deposited. Put away easily by Diogo Branki. Peterson. Martinussen. Jan Gurri. Nice rotations again. Kiko Costa slots it home. Shirt. Needs to get one with Kiko on the back. Oh, what a goal that is! And gets his first of the evening. Kiko Costa misses the target. 12 to 22. The lead is 10. It was 9 at the break. 17 to 8. It was nearly 9. Falling for that, Andre Christensen. And here comes Sporting. They mean business. And they score. Eugene Silva. And straight back the other way, the goal from Anders Martinusen. This Kiko Costa it works it out to the left wing. He got the shot away, the spin shot takes it into the corner. Really fancy work in Central Europe in Bucharest last time out. Go to the City of Light. In Henneberg. Who misses? That's the way things have panned out here for Sebastian Henneberg. Sporting going in search of their 25th goal of the night. And they get it to Costa. Nowhere near as prolific as he was last. Take something approaching a miracle, really. Federicia to overturn this and match this tally. Got six in round one of the Champions League. That's off the frame of the goal. Here to try and beat the 16 year old. Santiago Povoas can't save it. But a great experience. They might be able to set some records this evening. Their biggest winning margin came in November 2019. They won 37 22. Their lead's there for all to see. You only need to read the score lines and statistics. That was a clever step and a good finish as well to follow it up by uh, William Moberg. Slip through. Widerson lost the ball and Sporting again, mixing things up off the bench, letting everyone get plenty of playing time. That was good pace there, shown by Pedro Martinez. There's almost space for the shot. Moga shut down the space. The lucky player. Fast break here for Sporting. And he's finished it, Diogo Branquinho. There was a suggestion he'd already landed by the time he released the shot. Moberg is there, that's Widerson. The low shot is saved. Very well indeed. Won't have seen that until late. It is good. He scored the previous one of these. He had the Icelander and he scores this one. 44 shots, 68% of them have gone in. You can't the Koshta. Looking like it's going to be two wins from two to start, but they do concede there. A rare goal from Evgeny Pevno. Couldn't quite exploit the right wing there with Pedro Portela now on. Here is Portela again. Good finish again from João Gomes.
Arnor Widerson, good goal. Sporting on the hunt for more goals here. Joao Gomes again wriggling through and again finding the corner. Went in off the post, he scored back-to-back -back goals now. The lead is back. Peterson wanted it back. That's lovely handling. So. Another goal from Sporting, Ori Thorkelson, so reliable from seven metres. On course for their biggest ever win, there's 16 goals clear. Can they also match their highest ever total of goals they've conceded? That's a lovely turn, and somehow he's found a corner. How good was that? Fanson caught Flatford. Arnold Vidison denied. Andre Chris, most ever goals in one match, 38 in the Champions League. Their biggest ever winning margin was 515. They're plus 16 here. Joao Gomes, in flight goal. Pedro Portela with his first. They've worked it to the right wing and it's in off the underside of the crossbar. They're enjoying a few moments at the corner of his eye. But Pedro Portela was well placed. Oh, what a finish that is. The underarm smash from Nathan Suarez. They fumbled it at the line. Christensen. Might just to their chances of reaching that 38 goal mark. Federicia from the right wing. They've lost the ball. Federicia can dart forward in search of another Schwakoms took a detour, used the left wing and it's can they get the shot away, two seconds remaining, they're going to run out of time Portuguese champions and it ends here in Odessa